This video will cover the topic, finding a final amount in a word problem on exponential growth or decay. Our first example will be, a certain forest covers an area of 2500 kilometers squared. Suppose that each year this area decreases by 6.5%. What will the area be after 15 years? That's a lot of different numbers. How do we approach a problem like this? To approach this problem, we need to set up an equation that can be used to solve the problem. The equation that will be used is a is equal to p times 1 plus r to the t power. a stands for final amount, while p stands for principal or starting amount. r stands for the rate of increase or decrease. r will always be positive if the principal is increasing, and negative if the principal is decreasing. t is the time, usually in years. To begin this problem, we should list out everything we know. Since we know the forest currently covers an area of 2500 kilometers squared, we know that our p, or starting amount, is 2500. r, the rate of growth, will be negative value because it says the area is decreasing. We also need to convert the percent to a decimal. This gives us r is equal to negative 0.065. T is given in years for this equation. Since it decreases annually, we write T as the number of years. For this problem, T will equal 15. I see how you were able to figure out those numbers, but now what do we do with them? Great question. Now we substitute our numbers in for the variables and solve for A. Our equation will look like A is equal to 2500 times 1 minus 0 0.065 to the 15th power. Now we solve using a calculator. The answer you receive rounded to the nearest square kilometer will be A is equal to 912 kilometers squared. Okay, I get it. Can you show me a problem with an increasing percent? Of course. Here's another great example. A city has a population of 340,000 people. Suppose that each year the population grows by 3.5%. What will the population be after 8 years? To start out, let's write out all the values we know. We know that P is equal to 340,000 people for our starting amount. We can see that the population grows by a rate of positive 0 0.035. And the time we are looking at is T is equal to 8 years. Now that we have our numbers for our variables, we can substitute them into our a is equal to p times 1 plus r to the t power equation. This gives us a is equal to 340,000 times 1 plus 0 0.035 to the eighth power. Now we can use our calculators to solve for a. a is equal to 447,000 715 people. Does this make more sense now? Yeah, I think I figured it out. So to start a problem, we write out our equation and list out our variables. Then we match the variables with the numbers given to us. The main thing we always have to watch out for though, is if the starting amount will be increasing or decreasing. This determines if r will be a positive or negative number. After that, we plug the values into the a equals p times 1 plus r to the power t formula and solve for a. That's great. You got it. Now all you need is a bit more practice. 